presenter, Rana, always good to have you on the programme. Let me uh, show our view as well. We're talking some pictures from Tehran tonight. This is the Grand uh, Masala Mosque. You see thousands of people gathered there to listen to clerics tonight. Uh, presumably, it's going to be a very big event tomorrow. Um, definitely a big event, uh, obviously populated by the supporters of the Islamic Republic. But don't forget that President Raisi was very unpopular. He was elected in the election that had the lowest turnout of the history of the Islamic Republic. Uh, the turnout in the 2021 elections was 49 percent, the fir first time ever that uh, um, the participation was less than 50 percent. In those elections, 13 percent of ballots were uh, spoiled ballots and protest ballots. Many people were left the ballot papers blank. So he was very unpopular uh, and more unpopular uh, in later years, uh, especially since the 2022 protests, anti-compulsory hijab protests after a 22-year-old woman died, uh, was killed in the custody of the so-called morality police. Mm. Protesters uh, went out on the streets. Over 500 people were killed and thousands ended up in, in prison. And the Iranian economy, which ha is continuing, is downfall. So even though we receive footage of thousands of people uh, uh, joining the morning ceremony uh, of uh, President Raisi, it doesn't mean that he was a popular character inside the country. A lot of analysts have said they don't expect anything to change in terms of foreign policy or direction of the country and already uh, some names conservative hardliners are being lined up to replace him but but how influential was he um within uh, the government and and also on that on that committee that will that will choose um the ayatollah's successor he uh, wasn't very influential he was more of a puppet of the uh, iran iranian supreme leader I mean, ayatollah ali khamenei um, the Iranian foreign policy is determined by, by um, the supreme leader. And when it came to internal politics, he didn't have much clout. He didn't have any charisma. He wasn't very educated. Even if you could understand Persian, you could uh, see that he, he was not articulate at all. Many of the things that he said uh, didn't make sense in, 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 in uh, Persian. Um, so he didn't have much influence. And his death is not going to change much. Uh, he was a member of the 55-seat uh, Assembly of Experts that is in charge of choosing the, the Iranian Supreme Leader. And he was just one member of uh, the Assembly of Experts. There, are, uh, there were uh, 54 other members. Um, so in terms of choosing the next Supreme Leader, he was just one of many. So his death is going to create a bit of tension inside the Islamic Republic especially because now they have to have um, an early presidential election. But apart from that, not much will change. It's interesting that, that Secretary Lloyd Austin, the, the Defence Secretary in the United States, was, was quick to say that they had no part to play in this crash. There was some fear in, in Washington, and I think also in Jerusalem, that Tehran might quickly allege that the, the transport had been sabotaged. Why do you think they were so quick to, to, to talk about the weather and, and not point the finger? Because they have done that in the past. They have done in the past. And uh, it wasn't just the Islamic Republic. Many Iranian people were also suspecting that Israel could have been um, uh, taking part in, in, the, in an, an act of sabotage. Um, and there are various reasons, because Iran has a history of responding to these kind of movements from either Israel and the United States. And as you remember, a few weeks ago, there was an ex uh, escalation between Iran and Israel. And many countries in the region were worried that if any other countries were dragged into this, then Iran would have responded and then we would have seen another escalation. But it also, on the Iranian side, I don't think there is any appetite to uh, accuse any other countries or, or drag them into this. Because if Iran starts accusing other countries, then they will have to retaliate. And that is not something 